So, okay, let's utilize now the player profile. Player profile, which is over here. Okay, we have our IDs, and in theory, we should be getting everything that is an ID. Should turn at some point be it should be an item at some point, and then from there we should be yeah. So if we're picking up or changing a weapon or something like that, picking up a new weapon, changing it on the inventory, all that will have to change on the IDs for that actual player profile. Okay. So, with that in mind, now, uh, we're going to add a few more things over here. First of all, however, we don't want them this to be serialized. So, uh, because these are scriptable objects, when we're changing things, we don't want them to keep those references. So, we're simply going to just create... Uh, we can just... Yeah, okay, let's do this as uh, item, as arrays. Let's say right hand weapons then duplicate this right hand weapon items and then let's say left hand weapon items okay then Whenever something happens that changes anything onto our items, we're going to go onto our state manager and set up a flag. And we're going to say public bull items dirty. Okay, so what means uh, for items dirty? Right now we need to go and see when we add or remove items onto our player. Right now there's only one place that we do this. Uh, two if you count the armor as well. Which is the init inventory. And these events basically are when you're picking up a weapon or dropping one. Or something breaks or whatever. Or all, even though if something breaks that can be handled differently. So for now let's just go on side our init inventory which should be somewhere over here I think it's hiding should be under state actions in it inventory okay we have all of this as you can see we know that all of this is going to actually change uh, the state of our item so I'm simply going to say items dirty equals true then we need to have a reference call that is going to be point pointing at the player profile whenever an item whenever our items are dirty we should be loading and finding again our references where do we do this simply we're going to go on to our player inventory and we're going to utilize this execute over here and however this needs to be a state action now so let's just make this to take from state action and this one now for this to be correct needs to be state manager states okay then if states dot items dirty states dot items dirty equals false okay and we should add the player profile, a reference to the player profile over here player profile and actually because we are indeed loading them from over here let's see yeah I guess we can uh, ignore entirely this part and you just use the player profile okay so we're going to do that so player profile player profile dot right hand weapon items is going to be states dot inventory dot right hand slots okay these are items each weapon though it is 
an item, so it's going to assign this. Next, player profile, left hand, we run items, states, inventory, left hand, slots, okay, and similarly, we can do the same thing for the wear cloth. So, let's find where we actually load that. And let's start from the init inventory. As you can see, we create the analog weapon, right hand weapon, left hand weapon, spells, okay. And over here, we have the wear cloth item, set wear cloth, which takes the instance, okay. So, we should basically save somewhere the if we haven't done this already okay yeah we don't save this anywhere so you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to say item and return me the item you have okay and then going back over here states set where clothes inside my profile player profile. I'm going to add another non-serialized field for public item. Let's add this as a list because it's going to be a little bit simpler. Items, well not items, armor or clothes, cloth items, whatever. Let's initialize the list. Okay, then back to init inventory states dot profile dot cloth items dot add set where cloth and so on one slight problem this might uh, give us is that if it's null we're going to have problems so I'm going to say if item is not null then add it inside here. Okay. Awesome. So, okay, with this we can uh, have a reference to our items. So that means inside our player inventory, we can also say, remember that this updates the items with what we have. And actually, that's that's wrong we want the state manager to keep the inventory the, yeah the items it has we want them to keep it in there inside our inventory so let's create uh, okay let's create a new item array or better yet let's say cloth item for clothes new cloth item we only have four of course okay let's do it like that then inside the init inventory instead of doing this I'm going to delete this and if item is not null and instead of the item, maybe it's better if we return. Oops, not this. Where cloth? Yeah, maybe it's better if we return the cloth item. So let's add this as cloth item since we are already doing a cast over here. And we're going to say return C, return null. Okay, in inventory then cloth item item if it's not null then we're going to check for cloth item dot for yeah okay item dot let's see body part um, damn it yeah we need to set this up a little bit better damn it so uh, 
well anyway okay let's say item dot or states dot inventory dot close i equals item this one small problem with this it might be offset it uh, yeah we might not have the same number so let's do a pick definition in here and let's set this as a list public the to use a list we need to go and use collections generic list cloth item close and just make a new list and here okay states inventory close okay and this needs to be now close item dot add item okay then on to our player inventory player profile dot cloth items dot clear then player profile cloth items dot add range states inventory dot close dot yeah that's a cloth item and that is simple item and you're having problems casting that mm. okay so let's save that into cloth item as well okay so we have all of this which works now we don't have to take this from the inventory because we have the player profile which means we can just change this or let's delete all of this we want items array 6 ok then we have player profile dot right hand we want items ok we want item items array inventory right hand we want items same with this and with this but this now is going to be left hand weapon items left hand weapon items then we can also say for i player profile dot cloth items dot length dot count public item array variable cloth items cloth items dot items array equals new item player profile dot cloth items dot count and down here cloth items dot items array i equals player profile dot cloth items i okay and we're passing references around awesome so we need to know where to place this now we actually need to have this executing on every frame and we can do this inside the input manager which is over here input manager okay I'm just going to, to add a public player inventory reference monitor, monitor okay and down here on the execute after we have run all of this 
We can also only put it inside this in menu, to be honest. But anyway, okay, let's use this over here. Uh, inventory monitor, execute. Player states dot value. And this will monitor that. Awesome. Now, this will work. Okay. Okay. Close that and let's go fix the other. Let's fix first all the other things we need to add. Delete that, close that. So let's find the inventory, the input manager, input, input manager, and let's add the player inventory. Okay. Then pl on player inventory, we need to add the player profile, which is this. And cloth items, we need to add yeah, the armor items. Let's maybe rename this to cloth items. Player inventory. And one more thing, uh, you can see that this item array keeps elements. We don't want that. So we're going to make this system non-serialized. Okay close that and let's hit play and test this again okay and we have for the things we have actually wearing the cloth that we're wearing we have the icon we of course don't have an icon but if we go and assign the icons now for example over here I think helmet one. Well, anyway, I'm just going to add some. Let's add one of these. Let's add the other one. The icons won't really correspond to what we are wearing. Keep that in mind. Uh, chest, pants. Let's just use this. And for all this. I'm just going to assign the, I don't know, let's assign that. Okay, hit play. And you can see now we have icons onto our items. If I go now and change something on my player profile and use a different uh, weapon, maybe a different, uh, you know, let's say helmet two but we first need to check if we actually have a helmet two yeah we do okay it will now have a different icon so anytime i now go and change something onto my okay you can see the different helmet so every time i go and change something onto my item all i have to do is say onto my controller onto my state manager that items are dirty so this will just make my items it, it will force a load uh, a reload of references onto the player profile which the player profile is what we need that's what we're going to actually serialize into a save file okay it will uh, load the references and then when i open up my inventory it's going to force to load all those icons in the correct place the only downside of this is we don't really have a lot of control on the onto this onto the order of this are getting uh, appear well mostly for the the problem is mostly for the clothes okay but yeah we can work with that uh, yeah as i said we can work with that so let's say for example player profile we're going to make something extra later just for this uh, just for the cloth okay but let's say for example I remove the helmet and just add the boots and I hit play and open it up you'll see that yeah the boots are now taking the first slot instead of being on the slot they are supposed to go okay just keep that in mind and let's bring back helmet one okay so let's finish with this part 
as well. We have done a lot of progress, especially since we have automated a lot of things. Okay, let's also add an axe on the left hand slot just to see that all everything is working fine. And yeah, as I said, we have uh, made a lot of progress actually. Okay, and you can see. Uh, we have automated a lot of things which alleviated the pain of having that and for some reason the left hand now is a little bit off but anyway okay so let's finish with this part as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more videos like this then consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things I'll see you next time